Today, we're going to be having a look at how you can fully utilize the power of your probe with Fusion 360. Probes are extremely common on machine tools. However, we see that they're normally underutilized. This can be the fact that they are very complex to program by hand. We'll show you how Fusion 360 can simplify this programming process and ensure that you never worry about getting a probe that looks like this one. We'll show you how you can use Fusion 360 to program your probe just like any other milling tool in your carousel. One of the most common uses we see of our probes is to set the WCS on our machine or the workpiece coordinate system. So if we take a look at our part here, we have our billets that get put into our vise. Now, probing the WCS of these billets not only ensures they're in the correct location, but we can check for size variation as well. We see here that we've actually got a short billet. Now this will be a scrap part on our machine tool. So using probe WCS, we can actually set this on our machine and ensure that we're not going to waste time machining a billet that we know is already going to produce a scrap component. We can also use it for OP20 operations. For example, where this top hat needs to be removed. We can locate this in our vise, probe the hole that we've already made in OP10 and remove and chamfer that top hat effectively. This is removing the need for costly fixturing as all you need to do is put the parts securely in your work holding. We'll do the alignment process then for you. And why not take it a step further with override driving WCS? This allows you to reference a static point on your machine tool represented back in Fusion 360, meaning you can change components without the need for manual setup time, saving you that big costly setup process that plagues us all. Your probe can do so much more than just set your WCS. We can actually utilize the power of our probes to catch in-process variation and errors. We can use probe geometry in Fusion 360 to inspect features as they're being created. So you're no longer spending time adding machining processes to a part that's already scrapped. You can also use probe geometry to give the tools your machinists need to be confident about the quality of the parts coming off the machine. No longer is a machine going to be stood still because our inspector in our CMM room doesn't work on a night shift. Probe geometry allows us to check our parts, ensure the machine will stop if there's a problem, and we can even import the results directly back into Fusion 360 for a graphical representation of what we're manufacturing. We can also use probe geometry as a proactive approach, not just to catch variation after it's happened, but why not measure a feature and update the toolware on our machine live as it's happening. Ensure that you're happy that the last part you make is the same quality as the first one that you inspected. When it comes to complex freeform features and shapes, Inspect Surface is going to be the tool you're going to need to unlock the power and potential of your probing system. Inspect Surface allows for a point to be placed anywhere on the component within the probe's reach. We can even probe in 3 plus 2 for enabled machine tools. This allows us to inspect a point anywhere on our component that we deem a critical feature and get a result real-time on the shop floor. This works brilliant in conjunction with your current inspection equipment, allowing a good result to come from the machine tool before you take it off for potential further inspection. No longer the worry about removing a part from a machine tool to hand it over to our CMM, only to find out it's got to be put back on the machine for a lengthy setup procedure now to finish off or rectify a previous problem. Inspect Surface allows you to import these results graphically back into Fusion 360, 
on the shop floor so we can see exactly what's going on before it's removed and while we still have a chance to fix any potential issues. When it comes to set up and dataming complex freeform shapes such as potential rework on this forging die or the forging components themselves, the setup and dataming procedure can contribute to a major percentage of the overall manufacturing costs. Fusion 360's part alignment dramatically changes the way you conduct these procedures. We put inspection points across the whole component, import those results back into Fusion 360. We can then analyze and work out what is the best orientation that this part should be sat in to ensure we get a perfect part every time. The part alignment process may even open doors for jobs that you may have turned away before due to the prohibitive cost of the manual setup it takes on these complex features. With the part alignment process, the probe does the hard work for you, not only reducing the time it takes to set the components up, but also ensuring that every setup takes the exact same time and is as consistent as the last one reducing the variation that we see between different machining operators. Part alignment not only improves our setup, but it can also tell us before we've even touched the part with a milling tool, if it's going to be scrap or not. We can use the inspection points we took for the alignment process to actually work out, is there any distortion across our part that's going to be prohibitive when it comes to machining, or even areas of non-cleanup where there might be negative material. Using those inspection points, we can tell before we even touch this with a milling tool, are we going to have a scrap part at the end of it or not? Reducing the amount of time that you spend on adding value to what can already be a scrap component. In Fusion 360, we can not only import inspection results from our spindle probes, but we can also look at how they interface with manual handheld equipment, such as calipers, height gauges, and micrometers, meaning that you no longer have to have paper inspection reports on the shop floor being filled in, and then have to manually copy these back up onto your data system. Using Fusion 360's manual measure not only creates the inspection sequence, but also allows it to be recorded every time the component needs to be inspected, providing consistency across the whole production run. We can combine the results from our spindle-mounted probe and our manual equipment into one cohesive report. This can either be saved for internal records or shipped out with that component to the end customer showing that you care and control around the quality of your components. Fusion 360 provides an integrated solution for your different pieces of metrology equipment that you may have. We have now seen an overview of the functionality Fusion can provide to ensure that you get the most out of your spindle-mounted probe, ensuring that you can change the way that you visualize manufacturing enabling you to check parts mid-process and potentially even open the doors using part alignment to parts that you would never have even considered quoting before. Remember, you need to look at the probe as if it's any other tool in your carousel. Program it from Fusion 360 and start adding value with a probe today.